Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Walking the Path. This video is part of a series called Art Talk. It will involve many different types of artwork. We will discuss the artists, how or why they were inspired to create their art pieces. We will discuss how each art piece has impacted myself, certain groups of people, and if you would like to share in the comments how the art pieces have affected you, that would be great. Um, art Talk will also include sharing my art I have created and the process I go through to create an art piece. Please feel free to share artwork you're interested in discussing on the channel in the comment section. So let's get into the uh, first art piece. The first art piece right here, it, the artwork is done by Liz Lemon Swindle and it's titled You Were Mine. I have a link to her video in the description box if you're interested in finding out more information about her. She painted this scene from the TV show called The Chosen, uh, specifically from uh, season one, episode one, directed by Dallas Jenkins. And The Chosen is the stories about Jesus and the disciples that follow him. And the reason why I picked this art piece to be the first to discuss is because this art captures the moment Jesus heals Mary Magdalene. In my opinion, I think um, a better name for this piece might be called uh, The Moment because I feel like there are many people out there that have had moments of healing from God. And that d this painting does a really good job of depicting that. So I personally have this painting to remind myself that God will heal me. And um, even if it's not today or when I would like it to happen, God will do the healing at the right time. And I'm going to take this time to share with you guys um, some things that have been the hardest moments in my life. And it has been uh, difficult to come up with words to express what I have been going through. I have to trust that God will give me the right words so others can know him. Um, so about a year ago, my health completely fell apart and is continuing to fail me off and on to this day. Nothing in my body really wants to work correctly. Um, within the first month or so of my health problems, I came across The Chosen. When I first saw this particular scene here in, in the TV show, I started to cry immediately when Jesus hugged Mary. At that moment, I wanted so badly to be healed by Jesus right then and there. Um, I know that God um, was healing me slowly. I now know that. I now know that God was healing me slowly and that my healing was not just for my body. My healing had to start with truly finding Jesus again for real. In my worst moments of pain and having fear of the unknown, it was difficult at times to pray. And on this journey, I have been mad at God. I remember finally coming to terms with the fact that I might be ill for years or even the rest of my life. And I felt like I was kind of breaking up with God. Um, I didn't, and I didn't lose my faith. Just, I re realized that God's purpose for me was not aligned with my own. And I couldn't take the pain anymore in the unsure moments, minute to minute. It was just too much. So, a week or so later after I had my kind of little breakup with God, <laughs> um, I understood I was letting go of control, the control that I never had. And for the first time, I found peace in letting go of that control. I still struggle with wanting that control back, but I know that now letting go, will it gives me peace when I do let go. So the hardest times to let go is when I feel my body starting to get worse again. Um, I know I'm in, in for hours, days, or weeks of difficulty breathing, swelling in different parts of my body, and having the feeling of passing out, but not actually getting to that point of passing out. Um, and just, just those moments are kind of hard. And I have to like dig deep and find, find a way to, to find that peace and, and find God in, in those moments. Um, and doctors are just starting to be able to piece Together, one or two things that I, I might have or um, they're still struggling though they're still still struggling to find what's wrong with me 
And um, a, cha- a chaplain in the hospital one time told me that my story reminded her of Job. And the chaplain's name was Tracy. She was walking in the hall and saw me alone, crying in my hospital room. At that point, I just couldn't understand why God was doing this to me. And I remember her because she was a special person to me during that time. She would come to visit me uh, multiple times and gave me a lot of comfort. And I look back now and see God sent her to help me begin my journey back to him. Because at the time, I wasn't really paying attention to God. I was, I wasn't, I was just figuring out what is going on with my body. So I have um, come to the realization during this journey that I can no longer pick and choose what I want to believe in the Bible. God has chosen um, that ta- this time to show me so much in this last year. And it it brings a smile to my face when God shows me little signs that he's guiding me to the next step in my life. So I have now started to rewatch The Chosen with my son. And we uh, we got to season two, episode two, the other day. And Nathaniel, the architect, he uh, cries out when he's alone and says, do you see me? And later on in the episode, Philip introduces Nathaniel to Jesus. And Jesus tells him, I saw you. And when I saw this scene this time, I cried tears of joy because I I felt like, yes, you know, he he did see me. And I I think looking back and and when I was in the hospital, he brought Tracy to me at the moment where I was so angry with him and like thinking, how can you do this to me? And I felt so alone. But you don't think of those things in the moment. You kind of have to think back. So I'm going to share some final thoughts about this painting slash scene from The Chosen. So I want to show you, kind of point out how there is this darkness that's kind of surrounds them all the way up to the top. And then you have this light right here in the corner. And this light is also shining on Jesus and it's starting to shine on Mary. And I think that is is symbolic. I don't know if the director did that on purpose. Obviously, the, the painter, the artist did a beautiful job of depicting this because it, it looks exactly like the scene. Um, uh, so I think that it, it, it connected with, with me when I read the passage from John 18. Or sorry, John, sorry, John 12. And it says, it says that when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light of life. And to me, I feel like there's nothing else I can say that that's like today's mic drop for Jesus. Um, so that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this time with me. Please share in the comments your stories. Or thoughts about the painting and uh, my next art talk will be on kachina dolls so thank you for watching and god bless